You know, I'm feeling like a fun and unusual meal tonight. Are you ready? Let's do this together. Woo! It's rumbling up there, which is gonna make this meal interesting. Hey, it's me, David, AKA RV Jedi. If you like the content here, make sure you subscribe, click that link. Also click that bell so you get notified whenever we have a new video. Tonight, in between the rain, or maybe before the rain, we're gonna do something kind of unique. Campfire meatloaf. Uh oh, I better get this one done. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Okay, so the camp host just stopped by. We are going to have severe weather coming through here uh, in just a little bit. Uh, and yet, I am still gonna try to make our meatloaf. Uh, the fire is going right now. The next thing we have to do is take all of our ingredients, put them together, uh, and then get that into the cast iron skillet and get it on the grill. Once it's on the grill, I think it'll be okay. I can deal with the rain getting in and out. Uh, we're gonna have some uh, smashed uh, garlic and basil or basil potatoes with this uh, and a little salad. So enough talking, let me get this making. It starts with some ground beef, some green peppers, onions, and celery. Then we're gonna add in our homemade breadcrumbs, uh, add one egg, and then our spices, some turmeric, some rosemary, uh, a little bit of salt, rosemary salt that is, uh, some pepper, some garlic. Um, wanna make sure that's all mixed together. Uh, and then I put in uh, a little bit of basil, some uh, garlic ketchup, and a little bit of dried Parmesan. Mix it all up and get it ready to go into the pan. In the pan, I've got a little bit of olive oil, some bacon, and then I'm gonna take the uh, meatloaf mixture and pat it all down in there. Once the meatloaf is in the pan, you want to take it, cover it, and then take it out to the grill, get it on there, and because of the rain, get it on there now, and let it start cooking. So the rain hasn't started yet, so that should be okay for the meatloaf. Uh, it's gonna take maybe 25 to 30 minutes to cook. You wanna make sure that it's really cooked all the way through. Now I did cover the grill. Uh, all of the vents are open, uh, but this will help get some of that smoky flavor in uh, once I lift the tin foil off. We're gonna let it cook for a little while with the tin foil on, uh, then towards the end of it, take the tin foil off and get that final bit of smoke uh, into the meatloaf. So next up is uh, time for the potatoes. And uh, these are really easy to do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cube up some potatoes. I'm using new potatoes this time. Uh, we'll get them into the water, get that boiled. Once the boiling is done, I'm gonna leave a little bit of the water in, add in some butter, uh, some milk, some garlic, some basil, uh, and then just kind of mix everything together, uh, get it nice and consistent. Uh, and then I'm gonna finish it off with a little truffle oil for flavor. So that's what I'm gonna do. So the meatloaf is looking perfect. Right now I'm gonna take it off of the high heat, put it onto the top shelf, uh, close off some of the dampers, uh, and let it just start to uh, cook on its own. Should be ready here in the next couple of minutes. Potatoes are done. I like to finish it off with just a little bit of sour cream. It's also time to take the meatloaf off of the fire. Uh, we'll flip that over, uh, get that into a pan to kind of cool or a plate to kind of cool, cool. And then we will make uh, the gravy for the meatloaf with the residual fat uh, from where we cooked the meatloaf. Mm, sounds good. There you have it. Uh, campfire meatloaf uh, with smashed garlic and basil potatoes. 
got some salad. Uh, I've got some Canada Dry mixed with my, I'm calling this kind of poor man sangria. Uh, it's got some lemon, some watermelon, and some nectarine in it. Uh, some uh, Caesar salad dressing and the movie uh, later, the cooler. But let's take this real quick. Mmm. Fantastic. This is a great meal. I beat the rain, it didn't come down, and I absolutely love everything. I'll put a link to how I made all of this down below. You can do this uh, in a campfire, any place you're at, and I think you'll enjoy it as well. Uh, hey, don't forget, uh, you can follow me everywhere at RV Jedi, and then of course, uh, at my uh, blog at RVJedi.com. Hey, get out there, RV, have fun, chef it up. You know my model, you don't have to eat poorly on the road. You can do this and have a blast. See you next time.